tone winner 82300 well that's the model that we are going to talk about today and this particular av receiver is the newest or the latest entrant from tone winner in the indian markets now why do i say that is cuz tone winner has not been very dominant brand in india though it has been a pretty established product in the chinese or the other asian markets now the reason why this avr are not as popular as the mainstream avrs is cuz it works on a te- totally different technology that is the class h amplification technology while most of the other brands use class d this particular av receiver or this particular company manufactures most of their amplifiers on class h amplification technology now that technology itself makes this a little robust and more powerful engine to drive your home theaters and when i say that this particular av receiver actually gives 150 watts of power output for all the seven channels that it can drive through in a dolby digital dolby digital plus dolby atmos all these formats in terms of processing this av receiver can process 11 channels yes you heard me right 11 channel of processing and 7 channel of amplification is what we have got in store with this particular tone winner 82300 but before i begin let me just introduce myself hello everyone my name is tanmay mehta your home technology consultant or home theater wale bhaiya from touchwood automations and like always in this particular video i am going to share with you my honest review on this particular product and we are actually going to test the product we are going to study the back panel we are going to study the spec sheet of this particular product so that you are in a better place to make well informed wise and correct decisions like always through this particular channel so if at all this channel is helping you do not forget to hit the subscribe button and show us your love and support so that me and my team can continue bringing in more such videos so generally what is the thing that you keep on looking while buying av receiver some might want more power some might want more number of channels some would say that i want a better video processing some would say that i want lot of format supports some would say that i want all the latest features some would say that i want good music playback now all these things are bundled up in this particular avr now why do i say that well in terms of the audio format support it has got dolby atmos dolby digital plus dolby true hd all these formats are capable to run from this particular avr with regards to the video formats it supports all the hdr10 formats it has got 4k at 60 hertz uh, video signal capability with regards to the in number of inputs it has got 6 hdmi inputs and 2 hdmi outputs it has got three analog inputs two coaxial inputs two optical inputs so that's a long list of connectivity options for this av receiver in terms of power we already discussed that it can drive seven channels at 150 watts and in terms of processing it can support up to 11 channels so that's the beauty of this particular avr the only drawback that i see with this particular avr is that it does not have wifi it has just got bluetooth connectivity which can be a little drawback for this particular avr the second thing that i didn't particular like about this particular avr is that it does not have any of the odc wipa or the direct supports it has got their own room testing calibration now i don't know how good that is we are going to obviously test it but for now these two are the only drawbacks that i feel with this particular av receiver with regards to the wireless or music playback you have got a usb you have got a card reader you have got bluetooth these are some connectivity options it has also got something which none of the av receivers will ever give you and that is the karaoke system so all you have to do is just plug in your mic and you're good to use a karaoke system with this particular av receiver so that is another pros that you can see with this particular avr this has also got a 7 to 11 band parametric eq support for all the seven channels of amplification it has also got rs232 port which lets you take this avr onto your automation systems now this is a little controversial which we will be able to know after we do the testing the specs say that this particular avr supports hdmi earc port but on the rear panel they have got only arc mentioned so that is something that we are going to check out before passing on any comments on to that the design and build quality 
I know the first glimpse of this particular AV receiver is not really going to make you get your money out from the pocket considering you've got some steel knobs, you've got a little plasticky and you know noise making buttons. Even the remote is not very appealing, the buttons are too hard. So with regards to the build quality, this is going to remind you of some old AV receivers. Now we don't know what's inside but at least what's outside does not look very appealing. But if at all you're looking for some retro style products and Wi-Fi is not requirement, then yes, this is something which you can surely consider to power your home theater. And I am pretty excited to power my home theater with this particular AV receiver. But before that, let me show you the rear panel to all of you. So as you can see the rear panel, you've got seven speaker selectors or speaker binding posts. This is basically for the amplification. Half of the panel is actually written in Chinese, so that's going to be a little difficult, but on the top is Chinese, on the bottom you've got English alphabets. So that's how you can take a decision as to where is what with regards to the connection. You have got the pre outs or the line outs right on top left corner. So as you can see, you have got 12 channel over here, out of which one is for subwoofer and the 11 channels are for the speakers. With regards to analog in, which is right next to it, you have got three analog inputs. You have got karaoke inputs, which is again another benefit. Uh, you have got auto mic setup. You have got coaxial inputs too. You have got two wireless mic input. You have got a micro TF card reader, two optical inputs below. And with regards to the HDMI, you can see that there are six HDMI inputs. Though they have not mentioned any HDCP format support to this, the spec sheet claims that this is HDCP 2.2 enabled HDMI ports. Now the HDMI output is where you can see that there is main as well as there is a sub. The main supports ARC, though the document reads that it has got EARC. With regards to the RS232 port, that's just right on the top right corner. Next to it is the trigger IR in and out and you have got one USB connection, so that's for PC. That's all I can see about the rear panel. One prominent thing that I can see different with regards to the other AV receivers is that the speaker binding posts are actually in a diagonal format. So generally it's either in one line or then you have got it, you know, one on top of each other. But with regards to this particular tone winner AV receivers, they have done it diagonally, which makes it a little easy to connect wires. So this for all the installers who are actually looking forward to installing this particular AV receivers, well connecting your speaker wires to the binding post is going to be a little easy and not going to be a hassle. So on the front you have got two big steel knobs, one which is for mic volume and one which is for a normal volume. So that's not for a traditional input change, you have got mic volume on one side and you have got a regular volume on one side. Then there are two mic inputs again in the front. So as you can see with so many options for mic, this is going to be an AV receiver which focuses more on the karaoke side. So if at all you are into singing and you need karaoke, then this can be one of the models that you can surely look forward to. Then you have got some traditional buttons. You have got the power button right in the middle which is mentioned as standby. Then you have got a source button, you have got home button, return button on the right hand side of the standby and on the left hand side you have got mute, play, pause, forward and reverse. So that's it about the front panel. You have also got a USB which we already discussed. You have also got a LCD display panel in the front which you can control in terms of brightness using the remote control. You have got a DTS HD, Dolby, all the formats mentioned on the right so based upon what is the signal, the lights will blink is what I'm assuming. Uh, and then you have got the brand name tone winner along with the 82300 audio power amplifier. So that's it about the AV receiver. Let us go and have a particular testing done with this particular product and let's see what we have got in store.
so that was stone winner 82300 for all of you according to me what i feel as that this particular av receiver can be a great product for the commercial applications wherein 8k is something that they don't need wifi is something that they don't need but all they need or all they have is big rooms has got multiple number of speakers which can be connected over a separate power amp and you can have a full fledged 9 channel setup done with this particular av receiver so that is where i see tone winner as one of the most popular model for farmhouse uh, society home theaters those kind of applications wherein it's all related to commercial but when it comes to home i think more than me i would like to get this answer from you whether you would buy this particular projector for your home theater in your particular residence that's it from my end guys i tanmay mehta your home technology consultant or home theater wale bhaiya we'll see you all in my next video thank you